It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes, indeed, because today the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special is now officially streaming on Disney+. Plus. So to celebrate the official kickoff of the holiday season, you know, yesterday we just wrapped up Thanksgiving, today Black Friday, and we get our Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which... Man, what what a great special this is. I am loving this whole Marvel Studios special presentation thing. I mean, we, we already thought it was amazing with Werewolf by Night, but now you get the holiday special with the Guardians, and it just takes it to a whole nother level. Because just like how that was one of the best projects of Phase 4, this is also one of the best projects of Phase 4, and I think I like this even more, which it's not even like a technical part of phase four it's kind of like the epilogue of phase four but either way this project was amazing because you know i love christmas i love the guardians so you put them together and mm, j just it has been so long since we've seen the guardians i mean yes we saw them in thor love and thunder yes we saw them in the avengers movies but the last guardian of the galaxy movie where james gunn was fully hands-on with these characters was all the way back in 2017 with volume two so it has been a while and man, it is good to be back because James Gunn, I love this guy. He is one of my favorite directors because he's so perfectly able to balance the ridiculous comedy alongside pure emotion. It's just really beautiful to behold and you get that in this special and that was one of my favorite things. I mean, I cried. I actually cried watching this. That is right. It gets emotional, especially towards the end. But um, yeah, so we are going to be talking spoilers for this. So if you haven't seen it already, definitely make sure to go check it out on Disney+. Plus. It's only about 40 minutes long, but they make every minute worth it. There's also post credit scenes. So make sure to go check out the Garden of the Galaxy holiday special on Disney+. Plus. But for now, let's talk some spoilers. So basically, the whole premise of this holiday special is that... The Guardians, specifically Mantis, wants to save Christmas for Peter. And because we get this little backstory here at the beginning with this cool little 2D animation, which is kind of like an homage to like classic Christmas specials um, with Yondu ruining Christmas. So I did a video on this a couple weeks ago about how we would be seeing Yondu in this holiday special. And it's an animated form, which I thought was pretty interesting. But I really enjoyed it because, again, it's a nice little homage and is just some great backstory like it was some really beautiful backstory especially on the emotional side especially with the big reveal at the end because like it builds up the relationship and friendship between peter and craglin which i think is great on its own but then you have yondu you know not being a fan of earth customs peter just wanting to celebrate christmas yondu being a full-on scrooge here and then of course you know by the end he opens up the gift and it's that little green stuffed animal that we actually see he still has in his collection in the first guardian of the galaxy movie and then he gives a gift to peter and it is his elemental blasters which is awesome that that's such a cool little reveal um again just playing up the that father-son relationship between those two because i was a little concerned and nervous at first at the beginning of the special when they were just showing Yondu as like this huge jerk that was just really mean after the last time having him be like this great father figure doing the big sacrifice and everything um so I like that they still brought it around towards the end where it's like man that is his daddy so sweet um but another big reveal we get here specifically relating to why Mantis is so adamant about saving Christmas for Peter is because she is his sister so this is something that was actually revealed a couple days ago um, in the Marvel Studios Legends episode of Mantis on Disney+. Plus. Um, I didn't watch it, but it was still spoiled for me. Anyway, I believe those episodes were like removed from Disney+. Plus. They're probably back up there now. Um, but yeah, that was a big thing people were talking about the last couple days about how that was supposedly spoiled for everyone. But I'm pretty sure we already knew this. I mean, it was in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. You see that, you know, Ego, when he's talking about all these different women that he hooked up with throughout the galaxy there is one that looks like mantis's species so I, I feel like that was pretty safe to assume anyway but a lot of people freaking about like oh my god spoilers um but we we kind of already knew that um but i do think that that is really um the way it's revealed here is really nice and just the whole, what that really means for this special and that relationship and that bond between those two characters, especially when you see at the end when she finally reveals it to him and he says that line about like, that is the best Christmas gift I could ever get. 
Because if you think about it, Peter has no family. I mean, the Guardians are his family. He, he has no, his mother's dead, his father's dead. Both his fathers are dead, um, you know, biological and kind of adoptive with Yondu. He has no family left. He only has the Guardians. So that's why he's so close with the Guardians. But now he has an actual blood-related relative and family member, which I think is really, really cool. So anyway, how is Mantis going to save Christmas for Peter? Well, she and Drax are going to get a gift for him. Not a special thing, but a special someone. And of course, the legendary hero, Kevin Bacon. So having Kevin Bacon's inclusion here, I think was hilarious, um, especially when he did his song at the end and you know him being under Mantis's trance that whole time. That was a lot of fun, them breaking into his house and really just everything we did on earth with uh, with Mantis and Drax, just exploring Hollywood with, with the whole Steve, you know, that thing. And also we got a cameo from Flu LeBorg as well. Um, the the star maps, um, apparently John Cena is MCU canon alongside uh, Margot Robbie and I think I saw Queen Latifah on there as well uh, so that was hilarious uh, but yeah Kevin Bacon that was great to see that was awesome to see he was really funny a little disappointed he didn't dance but at least he did sing and that was actually a pretty good song I am not gonna lie the uh the original songs for this uh special the um I'm not sure if that Kevin Bacon one was an original but definitely that version and then the um, I don't know what Christmas is, but Christmas time is here. The the actual original song for the special by the old 97s. I'm definitely going to be adding those to my Christmas playlist. Um, because those pretty good songs. I will not lie. Oh yeah, and how could I forget the uh, the reference to Kingo? Of course, Kingo, Kumail Nanjani's character from The Eternals. There was a poster with at least one of the Kingos up there. Um, so there was that, as well as actually that place that uh, Drax and Mantis were in is the same place from Iron Man 3 um, with the big explosion and that whole thing happening. But at the end here, we get our nice little happy ending. You know, Christmas is saved. You get the whole thing with Kevin Bacon, Peter freaking out about that. But you just get some really nice moments with all of our characters. Of course, Peter, you know, he's in, he's depressed. Um, He's sad and lonely around the holidays. He misses Gamora. He misses his family. He misses Christmas and Earth. And so that was really nice to see that kind of storyline come to the forefront here for the special because really it's perfect to do for this storyline. Mantis, like I said, she is the star of the special and I love it because Mantis has always been a character that like I've liked but I've never been like a huge super duper fan of. Like most of the time I actually thought she was pretty annoying. Uh, but after this special, I mean, I love Mantis. Mantis is adorable. I mean, even when she was like hopping around like a demon like, somehow, she was still adorable. Drax, of course, is hilarious as always. We got uh, Groot in there. I mean, bodybuilder Groot. I love how he's still technically a kid, but, like, the way he was shuffling around was also adorable. Um, You got, of course, Nebula and Kraglin in there, who didn't really do too much, either one of them. Um, But then... I want to talk about Rocket and, um, yeah, Rocket and actually the gift that he gets because, you know, of course, he gets Bucky's arm. That was a hilarious callback to Avengers Infinity War. That was also something that was spoiled for me. Also, like, how did that even happen? Like, how did Nebula get his arm? Like, did she steal it at the funeral? Um, does Bucky not have an arm now? But we saw it in the concept art for Thunderbolt. So I'm just assuming that, like, he has multiple vibranium arms that's just my assumption but that was adorable though um when, when, when you get the arm and then also we have cosmo cosmo our newest guardian has been added to the crew here uh because the guardians have actually bought nowhere from the collector which i think is an interesting interesting reveal here um first of all i think confirming that the the collector is alive because we still were not sure post infinity war and what happened there on nowhere so the collector is alive the guardians have bought nowhere and kind of are are taking control seems like making it like a, a a safe little place for people to retreat to and that's most likely where they met cosmo um so this is our f second time seeing cosmo in the mcu but our first time actually hearing her voice uh, of course maria bakalova doing the voice that was confirmed at san Diego comic-con she's gonna be having a pretty large role in guardians of the galaxy volume 3 so that was really awesome i mean it, it's a cute dog that talks wears a spacesuit, and specifically is russian like russian accent yeah, it's pretty awesome.
And then finally, we do, of course, have a little bit of post credit scene here as well, which features, of course, the, the inevitable joke of Rocket trying to decorate Groot as the Christmas tree, but he won't stand still, so it doesn't work out. And so then Cosmo says something about like, oh, Groot, you ruined Christmas again. And the Rocket says, well, looks like we need to do another special. So I'm pretty sure this is just a joke, but... For all we know, maybe they are doing another Guardians of the Galaxy special uh, post Volume Three. I mean, you never know. I mean, Kevin Bacon did see, did say, "See you for Easter." Maybe we're getting a Guardians Easter special. I mean, that would be like right before Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three comes out. So, I mean, it's it's possible. I I doubt it, but it's possible, I suppose. Uh, but. I do think that that postcard scene was just a fun little gag. But either way, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, amazing. I loved it. Again, I love the Guardians. I love Christmas. You put them together. That is just amazingness right there. Uh, got me in the Christmas spirit. Gets me excited for Guardians of, Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, man, I, I just loved it. James Gunn, creative genius. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see what happens in Volume 3 because it's going to be emotional and I, I cried watching the holiday special, so I cannot wait to see. Man, I'm going to need some tissues for that movie. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special on Disney Plus? Did you enjoy it? How does it compare to some of the other Phase 4 projects, specifically our other special presentation with Werewolf by Night? And does this get you more excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel X.